So seeing as we've got some time at home, we thought we would tackle a bit of a garden project, uh, which is this problem area here. Um, it's just a pile of loose pebbles, which our daughter keeps eating, picking them up, constantly putting them in her mouth. And to be honest, it's really not a very usable area. I'd like to be able to put a table and chairs out here and we can't because it's uneven and, and loose stones. So we're gonna have a go with the pour on gravel binder uh, in clear. And um, before we do that, we're gonna swap the pebbles out for some cooler black rounded ones. need to successfully install the pour on. We've got a trowel, which is like five bucks from Bunnings, um, a plastic bucket, a drill with a three mil um, bit, some cloth tape, a little tray to sit your bucket in, um, some white spirit and some gloves. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drill some holes in the bottom of the bucket to create almost a shower head effect so that the pour on can be trickled over the pebbles. Um, but not before we mask up. So we're gonna protect all these edges so we don't get, get resin on the surface and the surrounding pavers. Now this is a relatively low traffic area. Um, so I'm just gonna work on the basis of one and a half to maximum two liters of binder for every square meter. The key really is to do a light coat. So rather than applying all of my product in one go, I'm gonna apply half of this container for three square meters and then once it's cured off we'll apply the other half um, so we do two light coats. It's really important to do two coats rather than one heavy one because it reduces the chances of, of foaming. It's looking good. A little bit of resin on the masking tape, that's what it's for. So yeah, so looking good. We've now got to let this cure overnight. So probably this time tomorrow we'll come back and do the second coat so um, at this point, try and keep animals and small children off it because it's still wet and it will take 24 hours to cure. So we'll check back in tomorrow for coat number two. 24 hours since the first application of the pour on and it is set hard, no loose stone at all. So now to do coat number two. Second coat done, literally took five minutes. A um, couple of things to note, when you're putting the pour on on, it can look streaky at first, especially when you're not troweling it afterwards, but just give it a few moments and the resin just soaks over and around the stone, so any streakiness goes pretty much straight away. Um, just gotta let this cure now for another 24 hours and it'll be usable. <laughs> 